Hello everyone and welcome to another week in the puppy's life. This is week two. And so um, first off, I just wanted to say that it, it's hard to make these videos because there's you can you can do basically whatever you want. There's so much content. The, I mean, you can literally do however much you want. So, uh, I do this on the fly. I don't have a script. I don't have anything like that available when I make the videos or when I yeah when I edit them so I um, there's a lot to go through the puppies are doing great um, they are healthy well fed she seems to be providing comfort for them and what they seek so um, it, it's it's um, it's been a great week They've started to move around a lot. They don't sleep all the time anymore. So it's it's getting easier um, to see kind of how they develop because it's, it's hard in the beginning. Um, they just sleep and eat. I wouldn't say there's much change th to this week. They do sleep and eat almost all the time as well right now, but they still move around a lot more now than they did the first week. Um, so every, every uh, puppy has opened their eyes. And from what I can see, one or I think it's two puppies actually has blue eyes. The other ones is harder to see. They have sort of a sort of a thing in their eye that <laughs> removes itself over time that makes you be able to see the whatever eye color they have. Um, and the other ones I can see right now is bright blue like their mother have. Anyway, um, so like I said, they're doing great. Um, the dad have actually got like a little bit of, well, he's gotten to help a lot because well, she didn't really allow it in the beginning, but now it's, uh, you know, I've tried to to keep it at a level that, you know, I, I, I show him the, every puppy every day and he gets to be with them a little while. He, he is definitely not aggressive, not, you know, nothing at all. He it seems like he likes to be with them and, you know, it doesn't, appears it doesn't really matter, I mean, to to her when I'm there but when he's alone and he wants to go there it's like nah you know he, he's not a, he's not allowed near the near the crate where the puppies are and uh, of course I, I understand that but it's uh, it's getting better and um, we're working on that a lot um, I'm trying to take the puppies out of the crate a few times a day so they can walk around a little bit and and uh, so they're getting quite big. Uh, it's 1.5 kilos, uh, the biggest one right now. I haven't weighed them today, but I think it's 1.5 kilos around that. And uh, yeah, so I've gotten collars for them. So now they have their first collars on with the different with different uh, colors so you can see which one is which because it's it's hard be, before you learn which one is which they look a lot alike so it's hard to tell anyway um, so yeah I, I try to get the father invo involved uh, a lot more than in, in the beginning they were just in the crate all the time <coughs> excuse me and um, so yeah, I think there's a picture coming up here um, when the father is there as well. There you go. Yeah, so I don't speak when I put the video together at all. I just take pictures, make a few, you know, small videos, and just put it out there because it's uh, it's a very bad microphone on my on my phone, so I'm not gonna use that. Uh, I wouldn't say this microphone is good good anyway, but it's better than the one I have on my phone. So um, yeah, it's it's fun. I mean, I have like few visitors a day that comes to to uh, pay some attention to the puppies, and they they love it. It appears like they they like it a lot, and they get used to humans a lot faster if you have different people coming over. 
you know, not to mention the mom gets much more um, human friendly, let's say, around the puppies because she, in the beginning, she was very, she was weary of everyone in the beginning, the first two days, and then eventually she just got, I mean, even me a little bit. She was like, mm, she was like checking me out when I came there. She had to like, she woke up every time I couldn't be be around the the crate when she and the puppies was there and she was like just looking up at me like what are you doing you know but but now it's like she doesn't care I mean people come over they pick up the puppies they pet them they yeah so they they, they just you know she doesn't care anymore in the same like she did in the beginning and that's that, that's a good thing um, because eventually they're gonna find New owners, uh, three of the puppies already have new owners. Uh, they're gonna stay with the mom until week eight and maybe even week nine for some, because, well, you have to get the shots and and kind of the chip they put in the neck so they can find them if they need to. And so, yeah, I don't know, there's, other than that, there's not much happening or going on. She's just, you know, she's just with the puppies all the time, and he's with me all the time. Basically, uh, I try to be with her, the puppies, as much as I can as well. But uh, it's a lot of it's it's time consuming, a lot of time consuming. Actually, I didn't really have time to make this video. I mean, it, it's it's really time consuming, even though they're so small. I imagine it will get harder when as time passes. But, um, so yeah, it, uh, she eats a lot more, the mom, she eats a lot more now than she did in the beginning, even when she was pregnant, she eats more now, but the puppies are getting pretty big, so they eat a lot, so she has to eat a lot as well, so she, I, I give her a special kind of feed now. I think I mentioned that, <clears throat> excuse me, in the video before this one, and, uh, that I'm giving her sort of puppy feed now it's a uh, puppy kibble and it's for better uh, milk for the puppies and all that so uh, it's even better for her when she's uh, giving puppy milk and all that and, uh, so uh, so yeah we just chill around as usual um, and I think uh, I'm almost done putting the place together where the puppies are in the in the room where we have the kitchen table um, so I've taken all that out and put in like a mini place where they can hang out and uh, yeah so I put a carton on the floor just because you know if they do their business on the floor it won't really matter you can just pick it up and then it'll be fine and it'll, it'll dry out and Easier to like bring in some new air from the from the outside as well through the big door and the uh, the balcony door over there. So, so this is what what they look like now. I mean, they're you can see there he he has blue eyes. Um, and uh, yeah, so they stumble around. That's the biggest guy, by the way. He he has the orange uh, orange collar on. He is the biggest one of the of the litter. litter. And um, yeah, he basically walks around already. Uh, his eyes are fully open, and uh, he can actually get over that hump where you see there into the crate if he wants to. He actually was lying on the kitchen floor when I came out this morning, and uh, I was checking up on him. So, uh, yeah, he, he, he's quite the adventurer, really. That'll be fun when he grows up. He'll chew up everything I have in the in the house. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's that's about it. Um, and uh, well, I mean, the dad's doing fine as well. I'm out with him more than her right about now because well, she has to feed the puppies, and then you know, she he's out with me more than than I am with her really because she doesn't have time to come to go outside as much. But she's she's uh, she leaves him alone a few hours a day. She walks somewhere else and sleeps somewhere else for a while. I imagine she's getting quite. Um, she's um, 
well, she doesn't want to spend all her time with him, of course. I mean, not, not right now, anyway. But when he comes into the room, she's she is right behind him. You know, she's like checking up on him all the time to see that it doesn't hurt the babies. I'm sure he won't. Um, yeah, so uh, heads up to the new owners. These puppies are going to be energetic. Let me tell you that these are gonna be some some real. This is this is this is a real dog. <laughs> this is a real deal. Let me tell you, Th these guys are they're crazy now, and so it's gonna get a lot worse or a lot better for that matter in the future. Anyway, um, so yeah, um. I'm going to expand the dog yard outside of my house. So I'm gonna expand that a little bit and when I get older I can just push push everyone into the dog yard during the day when I'm at work and they can be there, hang out over there and and all that. So um well that's it for this week and I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching and uh I'll see you later. Bye.